And this weighs a ton. God, that was a workout. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and in today's video we have my first ever zara haul i feel like these are such a popular haul to do everyone loves a good zara haul i just can't go wrong and i asked you on my instagram a few weeks ago what haul you'd like to see next and a lot of you did vote for zara so here we are i'm doing a zara haul for you i've never actually ordered on zara before i've always found the website just so so stressful so i've always just gone into the shop and bought it but here we are I will show you the huge box that I've got. I picked up loads of random things in loads of random sizes. So I'm hoping I got everything right, but we will see. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, upload every single Sunday at 5 p.m. So yep, if you wanna stick around for that, do subscribe. But without further ado, let's get on to the Zara haul. So here's the huge box that it came in. This literally weighs a ton because I did actually order a few pairs of jeans because I have heard good things about the Zara jeans and they always seem to be out of stock. So, you know, I grabbed it when I could. So I've actually been wanting one of these for absolute ages. I just feel like they're a great wardrobe essential. They literally go with anything and it's a satin shirt. I've always just tried the ones from like Pretty Little Thing and things like that and I've never actually had any success. I thought I'd go a little bit more expensive. To be fair, this was only 60, 60 pounds, Jesus, 26 pounds. Um, so I think that's not bad for Zara and I got a size medium. That actually looks okay, as long as it's not see-through. I can't imagine for Zara to be see-through. It is literally just a satin shirt. Um, feels really really nice actually if I don't actually end up wearing this out I can always wear it to work in the office um, but yeah this looks like a really really good length as well because I didn't want it too long I'm gonna do the try on clips after I've shown you the, the thing so these are my first impressions and then I'll try it on in the next clip I don't know why I'm rambling but yeah I just never know how to film hauls actually looks really nice really good quality for first impressions and after all that hunting I still don't think I found the right satin shirt this is looking a bit big I don't know if it's because I'm not used to wearing shirts like this I'd prefer it if it was maybe tied up but I don't think that's a thing anymore. I don't know. It's just, no, it's not flattering. I think it's doing wonders for my figure. So this will be a no, and I might just give up hunting for a satin shirt because I actually don't even know what I want anymore. I'm just gonna pick stuff out of the box randomly because um, there's quite a lot in there. A blazer. This actually looks really, really nice. First impressions, this is actually beautiful. Like the colour is so, so nice and it feels such good quality. This was £50, so a little bit on the pricey side, but I feel like with blazers, it's hard to buy a cheap one. I feel like cheap ones just don't do it. I feel like I did have to invest in a good blazer and you can literally just chuck these on for most occasions, to be honest. It doesn't do it much justice holding it up, but I just got a nude colour one because these seem to go with most things at the moment and this colour is really in right now. Obviously I'm not going to wear this anytime soon because I can't go anywhere. But um, I just thought it was pretty and I like the two little buttons here. Honestly, this quality is really, really good. It's got like the thick shoulder pads. Good first impressions. I'm not sure why I got a small, but we will see. Here's the blazer and um, I'm just going to chuck it on with this top. But I've got joggers on the bottom probably wouldn't wear joggers but you know it's about the blazer so let's see so this does actually fit um i think i said i got the size small didn't i and i don't really like how it sits on the arms i'm so picky with blazers literally um it's just coming off the shoulder a little bit and it's getting on my nerves i don't feel like it sits right not really the most flattering blazer don't think the colour really suits me either. Um, I feel like I'd have to be really tanned. Here it is. It's a little bit long as well. I feel like I'd like it a little bit shorter. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but for £50, I'm not too keen. Yeah, this colour does not suit me. It's a little bit tight on the back, but then big on the arms. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, 
this is a no. Okay, so this I remember looking back at my order confirmation and being like, why did you add that? Like, this is not really a bit of me, to be honest. At the moment, I've got this strange thing of um, wearing long sleeve things all the time. So randomly, I picked this up and I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. So this was 13 pounds. Um, and as you can tell, it's got the zip up here. That's probably why I bought it because I do quite like the zip detail. Um, the material feels really, really nice and soft. Very, very stretchy as well, which is great for a bodysuit. I'm not too sure when I'd actually wear this, um, but who knows, I might change my mind when it's on. What size did I get this one in? Medium, so that's probably right. This should fit me. For a bodysuit, this actually feels really, really comfortable. So 13 pounds is a bargain. Take back any bitching that I did about this top. I actually really like it. So this is what it looks like zipped up. Obviously, it doesn't have to be zipped up. I absolutely love the material of this. It is so, so nice. Um, I feel like it really hugs you in. It's really comfortable and the bodysuit fits perfectly. So um, yeah, this is such a comfy top. Also style it however you want. So you could have it down a little bit or you could have it down halfway, or you could bear all and do like a little Baywatch kind of moment. Yeah, for a bodysuit, I actually think this is so, so flattering. Yeah, loving this. this. This gets a thumbs up from me. So this is a plain black top, but these are just so, so essential. I feel like I'm lacking in these so much. This is really stretchy actually. So I decided to get the medium to large in this. It says it was £18 but I don't know if I would have paid that for it because that seems a little bit pricey for what it is. It's literally just a plain black scoop neck kind of thing and I think the arms are three quarter length which I'm not mad about. I don't mind that. I don't know if you can see but the material is like a thick rib. I just love Zara Basics. I feel like they're just such great quality. The amount of summer things I have from there and literally wore them to death. I just feel like it's the best place to get plain coloured tops and things. I'm hoping this fits because I'm desperate, desperate for something like this. So fingers crossed. Okay, so ignore this red mark. Here's the top. It is a little bit short on the arms. I don't know why I thought it was three quarter length when I shown it. I actually really like this. It's definitely something that I needed. The material is so nice and thick. I can't imagine this going bobbly or anything anytime soon. I like the scoop neck kind of thing. Don't really own anything like that. A basic black long sleeve top, which I definitely needed, but I really like the thick rib in it. I think I've gone a little bit wrong. <laughs> you know, I had a strange feeling that this haul would be a fail. Maybe this is the start to the fail. These are leather leggings. I've tried the black in these so many times in medium and small, I think, and they didn't fit. So this time I thought I'd get a large. Only problem is, I, th I think these are different trousers. So these look really, really big. I think sometimes with Zara, the sizing is really, really off. These are just high waist leather leggings. I thought, I've already got a black pair, so I thought I'd go for the nude. They did look a lot less yellowy on the website. I thought they were just like an ivory colour, so I'm not too sure. And then I've got the large. don't think these will fit from looking at them. Maybe they'll shrink and have no stretch. Either way, something a little bit different because all I usually wear is black on the bottom. So yeah. We'll have to see about these. Okay, these are probably the most unflattering trousers that I've ever put on my legs. They're really awkwardly fitted at the back. They're really big, but they fit on the bum. Here's the bottom. Um, not a fan of the colour. They're really not flattering. Really loose on the leg. So, um, conclusion for these is the sizing is really, really strange because the medium is way too tight for me and these are just too big. I've got three pairs of jeans to show you. I feel like this could become a series on my channel because I'm just the queen of jeans that don't fit. I find it so, so difficult to find jeans that are right. Um, I'm either just really picky 
I've got a strange body shape for jeans. So I thought I'd try Zara's. First impression, these ones feel really, really nice. And this is the pair that I was most excited for. Pretty sure I went on like the recommended size guide and it sized me with a 10, so I'm hoping they fit. These are the gray ones. First impressions, I don't like the rose gold buttons. Why am I so picky? I think these are ankle length ones, 28 pounds. So that's actually really, really good. These are gray mom jeans, I believe. If these fit, I'm gonna be so, so happy because I don't own a nice pair of gray jeans. And I feel like they could go with so many things and they're a little bit different to your black and blue jean. These are also going back. It's not going well. These are just too tight on my thighs and my bum again. So if you've got bigger areas like me there, these probably won't be for you. They're just not doing anything again. If these fit, I think they'd be really nice. They're not for me again. They're so, so uncomfortable. They fit really well on the leg, but apart from that, these are not doing anything i think these are the same range um these are ripped mom jeans i don't have a pair of ripped mom jeans so i thought i'd get a pair i actually really like the color of blue of these again the rose gold buttons is really really bugging me big pockets literally just look like standard mom jean size 10 again it's really hard to show jeans like this so you'll probably see better on the try on clip but please cross your fingers and toes for me, gals. And these are another no. These don't fit me. They're really small sized. Um, obviously, I got them up and they're zipped up, but they're so, so tight. And I don't like how low-waisted they are. I think these might be mid-rise, I can't remember. But um, I like them where they're high-waisted and I actually feel like they're holding something in. These are doing absolutely nothing for the figure they still have this gape in the back even though they are too big um they're just too tight on the leg here's the bottom the rips don't line up and they literally are not flattering at all so yeah clearly i had a change of thought with these um because i got a size 12 in these instead of a size 10. um so these are a different range these are a distressed black. I don't know why I picked these up. Um, they are nice, but I'm just really bad at pairing things together. Every single pair of jeans has these rose gold buttons. So these are quite distressed. As you can see at the top, it says classic mom jean, high rise ankle length. I like this at the back, it says Zara. That's quite nice, but um, I'm not too sure what these would go with. We'll see if they fit, they might be life changing. So for the gray jeans, these are the size 12 ones and they fit a little bit better, but they still don't fit. They're still tight on my bum and really big on the waist. They are a lot more flattering, but if you look at the back, there's a big gate and sometimes that's okay, but I think that's a little bit too big. These are the jeans. They are probably my favorite out of them all, but the color, I'm just not too sure what they'd go with. In conclusion, Zara jeans are a no for my body shape. So I'm really jealous if they do fit you. And that is it for the Zara haul. Um, I'm gonna go and try all of them on now and I'm sure you'll hear my full-on honest opinion in the try on clips. Fingers crossed it's gonna be good. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and let me know what other hauls you want me to do in the future. If you didn't know these are my favourite videos to film but if you do have any other video suggestions let a gal know because sometimes it's a struggle i won't lie so yeah i really hope you enjoyed my first zara haul and i'll see you in my next video goodbye third time lucky fuck's sake do i need to say anything else i don't know what's uh what that didn't make sense okay i'm confused <laughs>